Today we are joined by actress and scientist Maya Bialik. Now we're talking a little bit about the power of education. Now you are a huge advocate for science and math, and I hear that you have a reason for that. You're a scientist in your own right, correct? Yes, I actually, uh, I was on Blossom when I was younger, but I took 12 years off, got a PhD in neuroscience, and started working on Big Bang Theory about three years ago, um, but taught neuroscience for years, and yes, I'm very passionate about STEM education for sure. And then where did your love and appreciation for STEM education come from? Um, let's see, I became interested in science because one woman inspired me when I was 15 years old. She was my biology tutor. And so I've partnered with DeVry University and it's National Her World Month. And the Her World Initiative is to go into high schools and to give girls a positive association with STEM, to talk to them about what a life in STEM is like, why people choose it. Also to give them hands-on experience, workshops, confidence building, all those sorts of things. So I'm passionate about it because it took one woman to inspire me. Um, STEM careers are super important important. It's sort of the career of the future. We'll have a STEM background. And um, it's also a wonderful way to live your life is to embrace these kind of fields. Now, do you think the fact that you are not only a scientist, but also play a scientist on TV helps these girls see that, you know, there is quite the career in science? Yeah, I mean, I think, obviously, um, I don't advocate for people becoming regulars on TV shows as their main goal in life. Um, but I think it's important for people to, to hear, and especially for young girls, to hear that even though I'm an actress on The Big Bang Theory and I love the red carpet and I love all that fun stuff, um, what I'm truly passionate about is the things that make the world go round. And that uh, is specifically people who are interested in pursuing STEM careers and also inspiring young girls to, to dream bigger than, than maybe they had been. Now, as rewarding as science and math fields can be, they also can be incredibly frustrating. So what advice do you have for the girl out there that is kind of struggling through them and thinks that maybe this isn't an option for me? Um, well, uh, the greater the struggle, the greater the reward. Um, STEM is a very difficult set of topics and fields, um, but it's also tremendously rewarding, and there's so many exciting and interesting ways to be involved in a STEM career. It's not just do you have the grades to go to med school, because I didn't. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do as a scientist, and um, that kind of training will never leave you, no matter what you choose to do later. And then where can we find out a little bit more information on this? devry.edu forward slash stem ready. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Matt.